All right, all right. So I messed up that first time. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So what we're going to try doing is this again. Um, all right, so we're live again. All right, all right. So for those of you that joined me, I appreciate it. Hopefully everybody that was just here is coming back because gosh dang it, man, I messed up. Okay. And I'm trying something a little bit different today. What I'm doing is I'm going to be streaming to four different places. So, you know, if you're on Facebook, you're going to get it. If you're on YouTube, you're going to get it. Um, if you were on, you know, one of the socials, you're going to get it, you know? So that's my plan anyways. So let's just see here. Make sure that it's working. Yes, we are live. Okay. Just double checking. All right, guys. So, yeah, grab your guitars. I mean, we're going to be hanging out talking about lead guitar. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know that you're uh, alive and well. Uh, let me know what kind of guitar is maybe sitting in your lap right now. And we are going to be uh, going live all over the place. All right, all right. Now we're rocking, baby. That's what we want. All right. All right, cool, cool. So uh, let me know that you guys are out there. Let me know that you guys are alive and well. And uh, we're going to get stuff fired up here, man. So, yeah, so we're doing Instagram. What's up? And then we're doing uh, the Campfire Guitar Star Facebook page, the Campfire Guitar Star YouTube channel, and the uh, Beginner Guitar Players on Facebook group that Mike and I moderate and founded so uh so yeah guys what we're going to be talking about today is some lead guitar stuff guitar solos lead guitar uh you know ripping it up and improvising playing solos note for note and yeah we've got a bunch of stuff to dive into today so uh so yeah so just drop me a comment let me know where you're from let me know uh where you're at in the world uh what's up hank stone and uh <laughs> My boy, hypnotist Hank Stone. Yeah, yeah. So we're all fixed. Um, when I first started, <laughs> uh, I had the, the screen rotation thing on my phone locked. So my screen, my, my phone wasn't flipping sideways. So, oh, yeah. So now we're fixed, man. Um, yeah. What's up, guys? I see Ken Williams, Robert, Lazy Lama, Robert Cron, Terry Quick, Gord Brooks. Um, Cool, Juggernaut, Ted, Spruffy, Jim Hill. Awesome, guys. Dudes, good to see you guys out and about, man. Dude, I'm going to be grabbing... Hey, look it, man. If we're going to be talking about lead guitar, I I think that we should. I should be ripping this over my shoulder. Am I right? If we're talking about lead guitar, I think of all guitars that I have, I should be playing the Flying V. So why don't you guys go ahead, grab your uh, guitar, whatever, and uh, whatever it may be, and we'll uh, we'll get fired up here and get started. Um, just gonna double check my tuning. So guys, who um, who checked out the video of Mike and I chilling in Anaheim? Uh, that was a, that was kind of a monumental, special video for me because. I was, uh, that's the first time that Mike and I have hung out in a few years. And, you know, I, I mentioned this on the, um, I mentioned this on the call, or sorry, on the video, but Mike and I, we link up via webcam, like at least a couple times a week. Like we're always, we're always hanging out and, and working on our business and, you know, got stuff to do and all that kind of thing. So, um, Anyways, and, and a lot of you guys, like uh, there's Robert and Ken and Ted, you guys know the power of linking up via webcam because you guys link up with Mike all the time. And I mean, we've been able to, <clears throat> excuse me, build a business, uh, grow a business effectively over webcam. So you can bet that you can learn guitar over webcam too, right? So, so yeah, guys. What we're going to be talking about today is some lead guitar, as mentioned, and 
So what I wanted to talk about today were, were the three essential in ingredients to playing lead rock guitar solos, okay? So give me a hands up in the air, and of course I can't see you, so you're gonna have to type in yes into the comments when I ask you this. Um, how many of you guys find lead guitar soloing a little bit difficult? Okay, type in a big capital, Y-E-S. If you're kind of frustrated by lead guitar, maybe like, you know, lead guitar is kind of hard. Um, you know, you want to rip solos, can't quite do it. A little frustrating, right? So, uh, yeah, give me those. <laughs> oh, man, YouTube is going off right now. The yeses are coming in. And uh, there's one no. Osman is like, dude, I got my guitar solos down pat. Um, man, maybe I should be taking lessons from you, dude, because <laughs> uh, I've been playing guitar for years and I still feel like once in a while it's just like, oh man, I really want to get my lead guitar soloing abilities up. So yeah, lots of yeses coming in, lots of yeses, okay? So in this today's lesson, I want to talk about the three things, the three essential ingredients that I feel like you guys are definitely going to want to get down and just... Uh, just make sure that you have these, these elements dialed, okay? Because, I mean, look, lead guitar is a huge concept, and there's a ton to go over. And, uh, um, and, and you know, and, and then I, I think there's kind of two camps of lead guitar. There's playing guitar solos note for note, okay? Like playing the, the, the solo to Sweet Child of Mine, for instance, like note for note and just nailing it you know, every, every step of the way, every note of the way. Um, and then there's the other side of, of soloing, which is improvising, right? Making it up as you go, right? So there's, there's definitely, I, I think there's kind of, lead guitar kind of fits in those two camps, you know? So both of them have their merits. Um, a lot of guitar players, they just want to do one, one of the uh, either. And so, and we'll be talking about the importance of, uh, of learning solos note for note and what that will do for you guys, especially you guys that want to improvise and, and play. So, um, okay guys, so let's talk about... <laughs> Some electric guitar, baby. Okay, so... What I believe is the very first essential ingredient that we want to talk about is your technique. Your technique. Now, okay, and we could go on and on about technique and skills and drills and practice and metronomes and all that kind of stuff. But here's the thing. You really only need to know four essential techniques. Okay, I keep on using the word essential. Okay, you need to know four techniques. Okay, hammer-ons pull-offs, slides, and bends. Maybe you want to take a note of this, okay? Um, you should definitely consider tattooing this on your forehead or at least Sharpie marker so that it will, it will like imprint into your skin for like at least a few days. When you go to look in the mirror, you'll be like, right, and then it'll fade away eventually. But, uh, but hopefully during that time, you'll remember these four things. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and bends, okay? Uh, Lazy Llama says, I hate slides. It hurts my fingers. Okay. So look guys, hammer-ons, pull off slides, bends, tattoo it on your forehead, get a Sharpie marker, put it on your forehead, write it down. Okay. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and type it in the comments just to just like sometimes just writing something down uh, helps solidify. Okay. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends. Okay. And what you need to know about bends is that, that inc includes vibrato, okay, which is such an important technique. So let's just talk about each one of these, these techniques here. So hammer-ons, okay, is when you, it's, hammer-ons and pull-offs are like playing two notes with just one pick, okay? And so we got, so I, I pick the note once, right? And it make two note sound. Okay, with a hammer on. Okay. Okay. And then pull offs, same thing. Uh, two notes. And it's like your, your fretting hand becomes the pick. So you, you hit a note and you pull off to a note that's below that note. Okay. And to really kind of practice this, check this out. 
you can get uh, this Hendrix Trill, okay? It's like the start of, uh, you know, a few different Hendrix songs, and, and Hendrix would always play this lick. You can just imagine him like the peace symbol up in the air. Hey! You know? So, check that out. I'm doing the peace symbol finger, and I've got just the, the D string on the second fret, I'm just going open two, okay? So that's an open pull off, but then I'm, sorry, an open hammer on, and then I'm pulling off, and then I'm ready to go again. And you can try a couple other fingers. Check out, check into your second finger. See if you can do it. Okay, and your third finger. Okay, maybe your pinky finger too. It's gonna get a little awkward down here so low, but. Okay, and we're, that's just like a, a lick in the key of E, so that's why I'm hitting my low E string at the end. It just kind of finalizes it. Okay, so yeah, Steve, bends include vibrato, exactly. So those are hammer-ons and pull-offs. Slides, okay, speaking about Hendrix, check this out. Like the intro to Purple Haze with slides. <laughs> lick right okay so now check this out if we remove slides from that that riff the purple haze riff here's what it sounds like does just doesn't sound right does it we're missing something we're missing the slides right of course, I'm also adding vibrato in there, which is the next one we'll talk about. But anyways, but yeah, so it kind of sounds like a little bit stagnant without slides, right? And then when we add the slides, it just like adds in like this sexiness all of a sudden. So, so far we talked about hammer-ons, pull-offs, okay, okay, and then slides, and then now we're talking about bends, all right? The, uh, um, and this, this, guys, by the way, we're going over three essential lead guitar techniques today. This is just the first one, the techniques bundle. So hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and bends, which includes vibrato. So now we're going to talk about bends, and again, that, that includes vibrato. So bends are so, so essential. And especially playing in tune bends. Nothing sounds worse than a guitarist that hits out of tune bends. So the most common bend is a full step bend or a whole step bend. It means the same thing, okay? So what we got is uh, this whole step bend. If you take, say, say I'm just grabbing uh, the seventh fret of the G string, okay? And with bends, there's a bunch of things to talk about, but let's just talk about the in tune part first. I want to bend this note a whole step higher, which means two frets. So, so I want to bend this note to this note. So I want to bend this note into this note, right? So, so that's what you do is you just double check. Okay, la 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 la, and you get that in your head, and then you go la 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 la. See how bad that sounds? Or if I overbend, right? If I'm like, la, 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 and I'm just like all over the place. That's like one of the worst things uh, for lead guitar. Like if you want to sound amateurish, then play bends that are 
uh, overbending and underbending. That will definitely get you sounding amateur, <laughs> okay? And I know that's not what you guys want, and I know that's why we're hanging out here together, right? So we wanna get in tune bends. Um, and by the way, you can, if you wanna double check, just check on your tuner. I'm gonna turn this tuner on. Let's see, let's see if I can get this note. Okay, so that was like in tune. My tuner even told me. Okay, but yeah, you can also do it by ear. Oh, that was a little off. And it's kind of cool when you do a little rhythm like that, like da 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 da. Okay, so in tune bends, so so essential. And to get bends, guys, to get bends, it doesn't matter. If you're on electric or acoustic, the same rule applies. What you guys wanna do, you gotta get more fingers on the string, okay? You can see when I'm bending that, that note, it's not just one finger on that, on that string, and that, that's what actually accounts to a lot of uh, out-of-tune bends, is when people try to bend the string with just one finger. Get those other two fingers on that string, or locked in behind it. And, you, and you're literally just getting more muscle on the string, which will give you more control over what you're doing, okay? And that, in a nutshell, is really how you do bends, okay? So like I said, we're on the technique a little bit. We're talking about hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, okay? And then we're, uh, we just went over bends, okay? And so... Um, and by the way, we have a whole lead guitar program that goes deep into this. Let me know if any of you guys have Lead Guitar Star or if any of you guys have gone into Lead Guitar Star. I know that some of you guys have access to it. But um, anyway, so we go over the, the technique section in depth, okay? But if you're to focus on just a few different techniques, then definitely what you want to do is get your hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends, and bends include vibrato because vibrato is a type of bend, okay? So, first things first, to get vibrato. Right, so that's that, uh, that wobbly kind of sound, okay? Okay, get your thumb and your finger locked in. Okay, that will help you get the, the neck of the guitar shaking in a rhythmic uh, vibrato, you know? And so, let's just grab our first finger on the, on the fifth fret of the G string, okay? And it's a finger twist. You twist your finger in one direction only. So, you, you're always going to be bending, it, uh, bending the string towards the floor, or you're going to be bending the string towards the ceiling, okay? Um, and, and the vibrato goes the, the same thing. So just check in on your vib vibrato right now. You want to bend, say, say, so in this case, I would suggest bending towards the floor. Okay, a little bend, and then bring it back home. Don't stretch it towards the ceiling as well. What I'm saying is you have to kind of pick one or the other. Okay, and then you want to get that in a rhythmic fashion. I mean, you can, you can actually put your, your, vibrato to a click too. Right to, I don't know if you guys can hear that, like when I'm tapping my foot along, you know, there's a, there's a rhythm going on there with that, okay? Um, just gonna check in on, uh, what's up Mike and Blaine, they're tuning in on the Campfire Guitar Star Facebook page, good to see ya. So, guys, hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and bends, okay? F just four techniques. But what you want to do is spend some time on, on each individual technique. So what you can do is put on a jam track or put on a metronome. Just work on your hammer-ons. Only play hammer-ons. Like, make it so every note that you play has to have a hammer-on on it, okay? So if I'm going to put on a track, I have to go... Okay, 
right? So every single note that I play has to have a hammer on. Do the same thing with pull offs, do the same thing with slides, okay? Every note you play has to have a slide. Right? So you just focus on each one of these techniques and, and give them equal, uh, equal time. And of course, bends and vibrato, you know, really focus in on those too. Okay? So that is essential ingredient number one, guys, is your technique. And just focus on those four things. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and bends, which includes vibrato, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like I keep on saying this over and over and over, <laughs> okay? Because you guys gotta spend individual time on each one of those techniques. And, um, and then, so here's the thing, guys. Of course, we wanna be able to pick really fast and play these wild, crazy licks. But the thing is, is that if you just if you play a slow solo, okay, but your hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and bends are dialed in, like you really got them going on in a, in a good way, well, I'll tell you what, man, you you are going to be wowing audiences, okay? Because it's not about how many don't notes you play, okay? It's about how you play those notes. So. I'm just gonna improvise for you really quickly here to show you what I mean. So I'm gonna play a super slow solo, okay? It's not like technically advanced speed-wise, but hopefully I play something musical. Okay, just really focusing on those, those same techniques, right? Okay, so that's essential ingredient number one for playing really great lead, uh, lead concepts. And as mentioned, in our Lead Guitar Star program, uh, we go into the technique section pretty in depth. You know, we've got a whole uh, module dedicated to it. Um, okay, so module number two and the, the second essential lead guitar ingredient that you guys got to get dialed, okay, is of course licks, okay? Playing solos note for note and playing licks and learning licks note for note is going to get you ripping up the fretboard, you know, and playing those fast, like gnarly, awesome kind of stuff that, that you know you love and the, note, the stuff that you know you want to get. I can't think of a better way, you know, Learn a Jimi Hendrix solo. Learn an Eric Clapton solo, okay? Type in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear, hear from you. What solo would you just love to play? Okay, let me know. I'm, I'm dying to know, okay? Um, actually, there was just a solo that I wanted. Oh, yeah, we were talking about um, with one of our one-on-one students. I think it was Steve Hunter, actually. We were talking about the solo to Enter Sandman by Metallica and that's always a solo that I'm like ah, I should learn that there's so such great licks in that song you know and I feel like that could translate to classic rock and blues like I could pull some licks out of that solo and just get those in the tool belt you know so um so that's a that's a solo that I would love to learn there was another one I was just thinking about recently too that I'm like man that'd be a great solo to learn actually Hotel California that's another solo I have not learned that I would like to so let me know what, uh, what solos that you guys would just love to play one day. I'm, uh, I'm curious to know. And um, while those are coming in, let's just talk about this. So learning licks and solos note for note. Now, as you guys know, learning solos is, can be a really daunting thing, especially for a beginner, right? So, um, and while we're typing in, in, uh, in songs that we want to, uh, solos that we wanna play, 
um, it, we shouldn't overshadow the power of just learning a lick, okay? So just zooming in on one section of the song and just learning that one lick. So for example, uh, you know, and especially finding stuff that's attainable. So for example, uh, So just that first little lick of Sweet Child of Mine, right? Okay, hey guys, stick with me tomorrow because I'm actually releasing a brand new YouTube video for you guys. And it's gonna be three super easy uh, lead guitar songs, okay? So for you guys that wanna play solos, which I'm assuming you guys are, um, I'm gonna be releasing a whole YouTube video all dedicated to this, okay? So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good one. And, um, and so yeah, so there's gonna be three awesome songs that are, that are slightly easy, okay? So one of them is Be Yourself by Audio Slave, okay? Um, another one is, uh, what's that? oh yeah, in the lead part to Thunderstruck. <laughs> Okay, and then also we go over um, Wipeout by The Ventures. Okay, so watch for that video. I'm releasing it tomorrow, okay? Um, and yeah, and also Nirvana. Nirvana has some really good, easy solos. And, and let's just get the conversation rolling. Do you guys know of any uh, easy guitar solos to learn, okay? Um, it, you know, it, like the lead part, uh, the lead intro to Sweet Child of Mine is a good one, okay? Um, and actually, in Lead Guitar Star program, in the licks and solos section, that's exactly what we do is we, is we teach all kinds of David Gilmar, which is, uh, you know, Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, um, Santana, things like that. Actually, that's another great one to learn um, is uh, Oye Como Va, you know, a lot of beginners can learn stuff like that. Right? Nice, like, melodic things like that that are surprisingly easy to play. So yeah, so there's Nirvana stuff. Um, and cool, cool. So we've got some comments rolling in and, um, it's, yeah, so learn licks, learn solos, spend the time, like get, uh, get the tabs, get the, um, um, get the, the software that will slow down the music, watch YouTube lessons on them, listen to that song over and over and over so, until you can hum along with the solo. Okay. Guys, those are some really good uh, nuggets for you guys. If you want to learn licks and learn solos, like be able to know the solo so well that when it comes on, you can just sing along with it, right? And, and you know, if you're driving to work in the morning, put that song on. Do your best to sing along with the solo, okay? And, and then, yeah, then just track down the, the tabs, track down the lessons, uh, you know, get, get help from somebody, whether that's one-on-one -on -one lessons or, or whatever, you know, get the software that, you know, I use this program called the Amazing Slowdowner. Okay, and that will slow down music, but still keep it in key. You know, so I use that all the time when I'm learning licks and solos. It's super, super handy. You know, so, and then at the end of the day, just spend the time on it, you know, get those tabs up, whether that's online or you buy the book or whatever, you know, and you gotta like research, you gotta be like a detective and you just gotta put in the time, okay, to learn those licks, learn those solos, note for note. I can't tell you how important that is. Another, uh, another good one, is Crosscut Saw by Albert King. It's a little solo sounds like. Right? So a lot of space. And speaking of which, blues, learn blues solos, man. Okay, so if you think about guitarists like Jimi Hendrix, David Gilmore, Jimmy Page, okay? Angus Young, 
all these guys, they all started playing the blues, okay? So learn licks, learn solos, note for note from, from the blues, you know? And, uh, and then, yeah, and then, like I said, I'm gonna be releasing a video tomorrow which will break down a couple of nice, easy lead, uh, lead songs, okay? Okay, so, um, yeah, and we got some more comments and suggestions coming in, which I appreciate. And yeah, Santana is awesome because Santana plays a lot of, uh, a lot of very memorable, singable stuff, right? Okay, and what's going on here on Instagram? Um, uh, <laughs> Bailey Joy says, the solo from, from Freebird. Yeah, and believe it or not, there's some licks in Freebird that are actually pretty easy. It's just all about playing these, uh, these licks fast, you know? So, um, and actually I wanted to show you, show you one of these, okay? So, take this, eighth fret of the high E string, fifth fret of the high E string, so do a pull off, so eight to five, and then roll your finger over. You don't even need to roll it. Actually, okay, start with this. Bar your finger over the fifth fret of the B and E string. So you got, you got those two notes, right? Okay, here's a classic Jimmy Page lick and something that you see in, in something like Freebird. So you go, so you getting back up to that pull off an eighth fret, so we got, hit the eighth fret note, pull off, and then finish off on the B string. So those are your, that's your three note sequence, okay? So, and it helps when you go, um, uh, you start with an upstroke, up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? And then check it out. When you're ripping, you know, it just sounds hot, it sounds smoking. So you can find little three note sequences, play them clean, you know, play them slow, and then eventually work them up so that they're fast. You know, another great one that you hear, Jerry Cantrell, uh, who I just saw at Nam, by the way, um, from Man in the Box. He does, and this is also Jimmy Page lick. Again, there's this little sequence up on the 12th, uh, 12th and 14th fret. So it's a three note sequence um, uh, in, in a four note type of way. So you got one, two, three, four. And again, it just sounds like totally smoking when, you, when you're ripping. And there's that lick that we just talked about too, okay? So, so yeah, so find those little sequences that you can repeat, okay? Repeatable, small sequences. That stuff will just make people go like, whoa, what's that guy doing? And we know that it's like pretty straightforward, you know, it's just a couple of notes or a few notes. But when executed appropriately in the right point in a solo, like it's just, it's a head turner, right? Like people are just like, whoa, what's going on? And then you just mix in some sweet hammer on, some sweet pull off, some sweet slides and some sweet bends, and you'll just be cooking right along, you know? So, what's up guys? I see some people uh, cruising in on Instagram, good to see ya. So yeah. So I can't emphasize, guys, how important learning licks and solos note for note is. Um, and we go into, into all kinds of, like kind of like our hand selected licks and solos uh, inside of Lead Guitar Star. We go over like Fire by Jimi Hendrix, Shine On You Crazy Diamond by Pink Floyd, uh, you know, the intro to Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses, um, Oye Como Va, you know, and, and we've kind of hand selected a bunch of really good beginner and intermediate solos and we break those down for you and provide the tabs and all that stuff, okay? So, um, okay, so again, our three essential ingredients. Our first one was technique, okay? Focusing on hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, and bends, okay? Our essential ingredient number two is to learn licks and solos note for note, and hopefully I gave you guys lots of ideas on how to do that, okay? And essential ingredient number three, the third thing that you guys gotta get some time in and some focus on with uh, for your lead guitar soloing skills is your knowledge, okay? That's the third essential ingredient. So when I'm talking about knowledge, um, any, anybody know Ty Lopez? He's got that famous uh, YouTube video. He's like, 
I'm just here in my garage and what you need to do is get knowledge, you know, and then he turns the camera over and he's got all these Lamborghinis in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so knowledge guys, just like Ty Lopez says. So you want to get, I, and what I mean by knowledge is getting your notes down. Um, and so you want to get your notes down, your modes, you know, scales, like uh, your modes and your pentatonic scales, especially like guys, if you just get your major pentatonics and your minor, sorry, your major pentatonics and your minor pentatonics down, okay? Like, pff, dude, that's what so much of blues and rock is, is all about. So maybe you wanna make a note of that. Maybe you, if you still got room on your forehead to tattoo this one in it, like minor pentatonics and major pentatonics, get those down. And the crazy thing is that once you learn the minor pentatonics, the major pentatonics are actually the same shape. They're just a few frets down. Okay, um, they require a completely different approach, and they're like you know they're completely different scales, but it's kind of cool in that way. Okay, so once you just unlock the secrets to minor pentatonic and major pentatonic, okay, and I'll just give you a quick example of what that is. So, I'm um, here's some sweet uh, double stops for Troy Zakowski. <laughs> So there's like your minor pentatonic kind of sound, right? Major pentatonic. It has more of a country um, kind of twang to it too. Okay, so your major pentatonics and your minor pentatonics. And then when you and there's all kinds of songs that you're able to uh, to mix them in together. Like a great example would be. Um, So that solo, he's, he's actually relying a lot on the, the major pentatonics. Okay, and then, but you can also go into the minor pentatonics. Okay, so once you get major pentatonics and minor pentatonics, like that will unlock so much of lead guitar soloing for you guys. Um, and yeah, and, and then learning the notes on the fretboard, you know, learning where to start these, these scales from, you know, of course, you know, if you guys want me to talk about that, we can. But those, that, that in a nutshell, guys, um, and so, so think about it this way. So we've got these three essential ingredients, right? We got technique, Licks and solos, note for note. And then number three is your knowledge, okay? Like Ty Lopez says, knowledge. You gotta get knowledge, okay? So imagine if you knew your major and minor pentatonic scales like pretty well, right? And you could apply them in, in, in a key. And then imagine going back to ingredient number one, which was technique, okay? So you find out these scales, you're like, okay, I see, I see what we got. We got a scale here. And you got a scale here. And you get a kind of a basic understanding, even if you just get those root position scales down, okay? And, and then, if you go back to that ingredient number one of getting sweet hammer-on, sweet pull-offs, uh, stylish slides, in-tune bends, and sweet singing vibrato, okay? And just a couple of scales, man, you'll be flying all over the fretboard, right? So,
So that's what I had planned for you guys. And hey, if we're, we're all hanging out, and if you guys have any specific questions about guitar, about lead guitar, any comments, um, you know, happy to answer them. That's, you know, why I try to do these live lessons for you guys once in a while, is so that we can hang out and do some Q&A. But, um, but yeah, guys, those are my three, like what I think that really, um, what lead guitar, improvising, playing solos, and ripping it up on lead guitar really kind of like comes down to is those those three ingredients technique playing licks and solos note for note and your knowledge okay and um and so stick with me tomorrow guys because i'm actually releasing a, a brand new youtube video about lead guitar we've got three tunes coming up an audio slave song an acdc song and a venture song okay some 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 wicked lead guitar stuff that's uh, totally attainable. We'll have the tabs for you guys as well. And also this weekend, we're gonna put the Lead Guitar Star program um, uh, on sale, okay? So it's gonna be for a, a discount. You'll be able to get access to uh, Lead Guitar Star. And also it comes with Five Minute Guitar. Um, anybody have Five Minute Guitar? Or who, who has like any one of our products? Anybody out there? Um, I know that there's some one-on-one lessons. So we, you know, we teach one-on-one -on -one uh, to students all over the world. So I see Darren and Steve and, and Robert and, and Ted, like all you guys and uh, Jim. So yeah, so you know, you guys are one-on-one uh, -on -one students, but yeah, Darren says he's got it all. That's it. So yeah, so you know, the people that are the one-on-one -on -one students, they get are all of our products and all of the live lessons and all that stuff. So uh, that's cool. So yeah, so Evelyn says she's got the five, she's got five minute guitar. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so with Lead Guitar Star, um, like I said, that's going to be going on sale um, this weekend. Um, and actually, let's just uh, let's let's get you guys hooked up right now. Um, so so yeah. So if you guys kind of like the idea of what I'm talking about here, um, which is those three essential ingredients, that's like lead guitar star in a nutshell. Okay. And here's um, here's what we're gonna do for for those of you that are live on the call, hanging out with me right now. This is, uh, I just dropped in the link for um, Super Smoking Deal, okay? So just 47 bucks to get Lead Guitar Star. Um, and that, that's actually like um, the, uh, the like silly low price. Um, and because actually it's really just going on sale to $67 this weekend. But for those of you guys that are showing up, it's kind of like early bird access. And you know what? I appreciate you guys just hanging out with me, showing up on the call. So I'm happy to uh, to hook you up in, in whatever way I can. So yeah, so for you guys that are um, that are on the call right now, I'm gonna hook you guys up. I'm just making sure that everybody's got the link. Um, and yeah, and that's, uh, so yeah, so this weekend is still gonna be on sale, but yeah, I just wanted to, to say thank you, you guys for showing up on the call, uh, hanging out with me. And sticking around. If you guys stuck around, then you guys get uh, get some get a little virtual high five from from the main man Will Ripley at, at Campfire Guitar Star. Cool. So, um, so yeah, guys. So let me know if you guys um, um, have any questions about uh, lead guitar. Any like really any kind of guitar question. Now is the time. If you, if you have any questions about lead guitar star, um, then definitely uh, definitely let me know. Um, cause yeah, I mean, here we are hanging out and yeah, hopefully you guys like the, uh, the three essential ingredients. I think, man, I think lead guitar really boils down to those three things. And, and we, and we tried to cover those in depth, you know, in lead guitar star, like techniques, we go deep into like every lead guitar technique, everything down to, uh, pick tapping and finger tapping, you know, those Randy Rose and Eddie Van Halen style techniques. Um, you know, and then of course, hammer-ons, pull off slides, bends. And then we go deep into licks and solos, note for note, get the tabs for those uh, right inside the members area. And, and then, yeah, then we dig into knowledge, like how to learn modes, how to, uh, you know, learn the notes on the fretboard and all that kind of stuff too. Um, cool, so I'll just catch up on any, uh, um, any, what's up, Instagram? This is my first live Instagram PS. Everybody's stopping in and just waving. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see, uh, see what this live Instagram business is all about. 
but uh, I figured I'm I'm uh, been more active on Instagram a lot. So why not, right? All right. So when you're looking for tabs, what website do you use? Um, I just use ultimate-guitar.com, and but. There's all kinds of versions for tabs on that site. So what I what what I try to do is open up two or three of them, because almost always, you know, especially with online tabs, and especially if you're getting off the beaten track, like if you're not learning um, a super famous song, man, tabs are just incorrect all over the place. Even 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 tabs for famous songs can be really incorrect uh, often, but. Um, yeah, so I just try to to pull up two or three different tab uh, tab versions off Ultimate Dash Guitar, so I can reference them. And sure enough, they're always different. They always show how to play the the riffs and licks differently, you know. And that's it. That's just part of the like. If you guys caught what I said earlier, it's like the detective process of learning a guitar solo, you know, just the detective work and and the hard work that you got to do, you know, whether that's buying a book, searching them up online. Getting a lesson from uh, like how we do it on webcam, or 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 getting a guitar lesson from somebody locally, you know, buying a program, buying software that will slow down the music to so you can use your ear, you know, all of the above. It's just like you just got to dig in and and learn these solos, and then once you learn these solos, it's just so so awesome, you know. Like once you accomplish a solo that you're like, oh, I always wanted to play that solo or that lick, you know. So. Uh, Voodoo Child by Jimi Hendrix comes to mind for me when I learned that solo note for note. It just it revolutionized my my playing, revolutionized my um, my confidence in myself, you know. So and yeah, and I I used the 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 help of amazing slowdowner to help me with that. Cool. Um, and yeah, West Winds is su suggesting E chords, which I've never heard of. Robert's asking, what's your opinion of fret light with Guitar Pro? Um, I think fret light's kind of cool. I um, I didn't know that it was compatible with Guitar Pro, but I've actually seen uh, the fret light system. So what what that is, guys, is that fret light is a guitar that has little LED lights built into the fretboard, and and it it interacts with like a you know a software online, and then it shows you where to put your fingers. Okay, the guitars. Um, aren't like super nice. Like I think that you have a Gibson SG, Robert. Um, you know, it does. The guitars do not compare to like a nice Fender, a nice Gibson, in my opinion. Um, what's up, Jevin? <laughs> and uh, and yeah. So, but I think it, it's a cool concept. It was worth checking out. And like I said, man, sometimes you just gotta all that detective work that we just laid out. You know, diving in here, here, and here, and here, and attacking this this problem from all these different angles you know sometimes that that's what is going to get you the results that you're that you're after is just continuously taking a different approach and you know of course spending time on each approach you know but sometimes combining all these different approaches to the same problem which is maybe you know achieving a note for note guitar solo in this case is my example but yeah just you know using all those detective methods and all that detective work to play that solo from different angles, you know, um, I think that that's really the the key. So maybe a fret light might be part of your journey. I don't know, you know, maybe Campfire Guitar Star is part of your journey. So, um, okay. So Steve Hunter says, for a good foundation soloing, should you start with basic blues licks and linking two licks together before trying to play the rock solos? Um, and then he says, I saw, or, oh, and that's more on the review. So that's a really good question, Steve. So Steve is asking, should you start with basic blues licks and then linking a couple together before trying to play the rock solos? So I agree that, um, I agree that playing blues is going to be part of your journey. You know, playing blues is super good for anybody that wants to, uh, wants to play guitar solos. You know, I fully endorse playing the blues. The blues is is more attainable than a lot of rock, but it's also the foundation of pretty much all rock. So, and and yeah, and then, and it's not about playing fast. It's about playing with soul and feeling. You know, and so blues players often get really. A lot of blues players have better vibrato than a lot of rock players. 
you know, and, and all of our fam favorite rock players, they all know how to play the blues, man. Slash, he can rip up the blues, man, you know, better than almost anybody. And, you know, he's really a rock guitar player, right? So, yeah, man, play the blues, play the blues. Um, and, yeah, learn the blues note for note. Uh, learn those licks note for note. Learn solos note for note. I would really recommend the solo to Cross Cut Saw by Albert King. That's a great, easy lead guitar solo for a lot of, a lot of beginners out there. You know, so that's something, uh, something worth, worth checking out. Um, cool, cool. So, guys, I'm going to shut it down. Again, thanks for tuning in. Watch for that, that video tomorrow. Um, some lead guitar songs coming out for you guys as beginners. Also, Lead Guitar Star, I just dropped in the, um, the link to get Lead Guitar Star for 47 bucks, man. Man, that's just a smoking deal. It's, it's, it's really you know, valued at least 100 bucks. We're, we're going to do a little promo on it this weekend. And especially for you guys hanging out with me today on the call, 47 bucks for you guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully, you pick up Lead Guitar Star. I think it's a really good program. It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee you know, and all that stuff. So get into it dig into it. If you just don't feel like it was worth $47, then just email us. We'll just refund you, man. We, we're, we're not out to, uh, to take anybody's money unless they got really, really good value. So um, again, guys, thanks for tuning in. My first Instagram live. Yeah, first one ever. And so uh, yeah, again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate all you guys. And yeah, we got a cool weekend coming up. Great lesson coming out tomorrow and Lead Guitar Star is going on sales. So make sure to grab that copy. I dropped in the... Uh, the lead guitar star checkout link right here in the chat. So, uh, so just zoom up for that and find that. Cool, cool. Right on, guys. Have a great night. We will catch you later. Keep on rocking in the free world. And doot doot a loot do, doot do. Now I gotta shut all these down. Later. Okay, and we still got one more to end. You guys hanging out on YouTube, scroll up for